Hey guys, this will be a video about the assistant I put together that helps me while I play Helldivers 2. It is a combination of a software program called Voice Attack, as well as generated sound bites from a website called Eleven Labs. And the idea is to use them in unison to mimic having some sort of virtual assistant. So when you say certain phrases, certain things will happen. Since I already set up voice attack, she will respond to phrases such as, Ava, come online. Coming online now, initializing virtual interface, loading stratagem codes. Ava, ready. Right, so now her status is set to available, and if I ask her to do certain things, she'll do them. But I can also send her away. Ava, go offline. Ava shutting down. Until next time, James. So now that she's not available, I'll just get a little beep if I ask her to do things. So how about I just go Manage down to the planet democracy calls for and uh, we try to Only you can show you exactly how it works. Let's find something nice and easy. Something nice and quiet. So now that we're down here on the planet, we can go ahead and bring her online. Ava, wake up. Ava here. Are we ready to spread some managed democracy? So now she is available if I were to call out any kind of stratagem like... Ava, resupply. Sending down a resupply. Please stand clear. And it'll get the stratagem ready. How about... Ava, I need an orbital laser. Orbital laser is being prepared. Bringing now, down the sun. She has different phrases, so I can ask it, her for it again, and she might say something different. Ava, orbital laser. Preparing orbital laser. Laser ready. We don't need to be working on our tan, so best we take a few steps back. Orbital laser. The power of the sun in the palm of your hand. Or let's say, Ava, I need an Eagle One special. One problem solver coming right up. Spreading managed democracy with extreme prejudice. Or let's say I need a support weapon, so Ava, auto cannon. Sending down an auto cannon. Please stand clear. Ava, I need an orbital strike. Orbital strike is being prepared. Orbital Ava. strike incoming. Ava, get me an orbital strike. Preparing orbital strike. Bringing down the hammer. So those are some phrases that I've generated. I've had I have some other strategies that I take, let's say like uh, cluster bomb. Preparing cluster bomb. Of course, I didn't take it down here with me, but she'll still do the thing. Bombs away. So the main reason why I decided to do this, you know, as I saw in other people on YouTube doing, is uh, I have I have MS, so my hands don't exactly always do what I need them to do, or perhaps not as quickly or as accurately, and uh, I kept fumbling some stratagem codes, especially in uh, intense or stressful situations. So, this helps a lot, to be honest. Resupply. Sending down a resupply. Please stand clear. I also have her set up to do other things. Side objective specific things that are not in this. Because I just, I wanted like an, a nice open area, not a lot of enemies. To so, show her capabilities. But she has the ability to, uh, like for the escape pods, doing an upload data. Commencing data upload. Please remain close to the escape pod. So if I was in the area of that side objective, um, she would start doing that. Already standing by. Yes, thank you, Ava. I'm here, James. What's on the docket tonight? Ava, go offline. Ava shutting down. Until next time, James. Ava, wake up. Ava coming online. Ready to spill some oil or bug guts, or whatever it is managed democracy demands of us tonight. So let's say maybe I don't want to hear her all the time. You know, maybe her phrases get annoying or repetitive or whatever, even though I did record multiple ones to mix it up. Um, so I can tell her to go away. Ava, shut down. Ava powering down. See you next time, James. So now her status set to not being available. So if I call for a stratagem, like Eagle One. 
I get a little confirmation beep. Orbital laser. And now she's not saying anything because, you know, she's uh, sleeping or whatever you want to call it. So I can bring her back. Ava, wake up. Ava initializing. Welcome back, James. I had your cape ironed while you were away. And your democracy officer would like to speak with you about some... How did he put it? Uh, Rule 34 Terminid Art? Yeah. Well, it's not mine. Uh-huh. We will talk about this later. So now her status is set to being, once again, available. If I ask her to come back as if, let's say, I thought that she was away, and I want her to be here, but she already is. Ava, wake up. I'm already standing by. She'll let me. Orders? She'll let me know that she was already here, that she was already waiting. Ava, you there? I'm already standing by. Was there something you needed? Conversely, if I tell her to go away, shut down. Ava shutting down. Until next time, James. So she's gone. So that's her status already. And if I tell her to do that again, I get this. Ava, shut down. Like a, hey, dude, she's already gone. You're telling her to go away again. What are you doing? Uh, yeah. So that's about it. Uh, as of right now, she can do, again, this mission doesn't have them. But if it did, uh, I can have them do Hellbomb. And it'll do that long-ass code for me within a fraction of a second. And then I can throw it down. Send down Solid State Drive. So that one's there, too. Uh, yeah. We can go ahead and look at the meat and potatoes of it. So, as I said previously, voice attack is what I use to turn my phrases into action. There are two versions. There's a full version for about 13 bucks American after taxes, and there's a free demo version. The only difference between the two that I can find is on the demo version, you are limited to 20 commands. On the full version, I do not believe that there is an actual limit. So we can come into voice attack, the full version. So the first thing I'm going to do is run it as administrator. Sometimes it gets a little wonky if you don't run it as administrator. And for this, I'm going to tell it to stop listening, right? So if I say one of the words, one of my phrases, she shouldn't do the things that she's programmed to do. So like start, online, you there. A lot of words I might be saying while I'm explaining this, and she might start talking over me. So these are all the commands that I've set up. I've also organized them, at least so it's a little easier for me to go back to them if I need to. Uh, this might look a little complicated, not really, but that's because I kind of made it more complicated than it needed to be. So I did the whole, hey, if I say, I don't know, jetpack, right? If she's online already, like I said previously when I was on the planet explaining this, it'll say one of the phrases from this folder, right? And that folder is in sounds, confirmations. And this is all like past this folder. This is anything that you make. So to organize it, I'm like, oh, there's confirmations. Hey, uh, let's go to the the support weapons and equipment and jetpack summon blah 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 so it'll play this specific sound if i say jetpack and she's already available as well as doing all the keystrokes for the stratagem and if she's not online it'll just do the confirmation beep right as i said previously there's multiple phrases for things that I do. So if I ask her for an equal one, anything like that, that's my catchphrase for the 500 kilogram bomb, right? So equal one, if she's here, I want you to play a random sound from the 500 kilogram summon folder. So that means that she will say one of these. One problem solver coming right up. Or Preparing a 500 kilograms bomb. Readying a 500 kilograms bomb. And on the back end of that, I have a program. It'll do all the keystrokes. 
it'll wait a few seconds. I put in the pause because I'm like, realistically, after you do the keystrokes and I have the stratagem in my hand, I'm probably going to throw it within the next four seconds. And after that, I want you to play a sound from a different directory, which is a scent. So 500 kilograms scent, she'll say one of these. Unless you want to paint the rocks with your innards, I suggest you back up. I'd like to remind you that I'm in here with you, so back up a bit. Okay, so it may be a little overcomplicated, but the whole thing I wanted to go for is she is not quite as repetitive, which is part of that. See, you can suppress repeat. This will make it so that of those four choices, she does not do the same one in a row. Now, as I don't know if it just runs through the list sequentially, you know, alphabetically, and then circles back around, or if it simply just doesn't play the same one twice in a row. I didn't quite test it that much. As far as the voices, as far as where to get the voices, there is a website called Eleven Labs. It's a free text-to-speech or speech-to-speech -speech generator. You can select from a myriad of different voices. There's a lot. There's even there's even more than here. If you if you really get into all the voices, you go to the library. There's everything, and it somewhat explains them, describes them, right? Is it is it more for like a, a newscaster? Is it like reading from? You want something that sounds like it's reading from a book? You want something that sounds like it belongs in a cartoon? You want something? Uh, a man, a woman, English. Are they classy? Are they a little uh, upstarts, uh, like a British Cockney accent, something like that? I'm sure it's in there. And then you can go to speech and have it do a whole bunch of stuff. Now, on that, how similar do you want word to word when you're generating it, right? Uh, you can set different settings. But you can see from the history, I will have it talk a bunch of different times because she doesn't quite say exactly what I want her to. Or she perhaps doesn't put the right emphasis on the words that I want to hear. And so I'll have to generate it multiple times. If you're using it as the free version, sometimes it will keep you from generating the speech, saying that the server's a little bogged down. And obviously people who pay for it get the priority. That makes sense. Uh, there is also a quota. There's a limit to how many characters that you can do each month. But honestly, depending on how in-depth you want this whole setup to be, I don't think you'll reach it. Uh, me, I, I kind of went crazy with it. I, I went a little overboard. Like I said, my hands are kind of fumbly. It's to the point where I almost kind of wanted to do anything strategy related for me anyway. So how about we go back to this? Now she's listening again. And we'll we'll say one of these uh, catchphrases like Ava, come online. Ava coming online, ready to spill some oil or bug guts or whatever it is you feel like doing tonight. So like I said, since she wasn't already available, now I got to say that, right? Because I unclicked the whole blocker thing. Since she wasn't already available, I want you to say that, yes, now she is. And I put a little pause in here just to make it seem like she's booting up or whatever. And then I want you to play a random sound from confirmations, Ava, that word that I can't say right now. Don't repeat. Or if she's already here, like I showed before, I want you to, from a directory saying that she's already standing by. So like, Ava, come online. I'm already standing by. Was there something you needed? As far as doing anything uh, stratagem related, uh, you have to form the code a certain way. So we have all that stuff that I was already explaining with the whole, hey, I want you to wake up. Coming online now, initializing virtual interface. Stop. Right. So sh she'll do all that mumbo jumbo, and you want to hold down the stratagem menu, menu button. So that is a press down, so it's going to hold it. You're going to pause for at least 0.05 seconds. If you do not, this first keystroke 
will come out too quickly for the game. So depending on your rig, your internet connection, etc., how bogged down you might be, if you make this pause too quick, this first keystroke won't be seen as being called for the strat stratagem. Some stratagems, you can get away with as little as a 0 0.01 pause in between keystrokes. For some reason, different stratagems, even if they're less complicated codes, there's even less button presses. If you go this quickly, it fails. I think a good su sweet spot that I found is 0 0.02, 0 0.03 seconds, right? That's pretty consistent. Then again, you know, we're talking about fractions of a fraction of a second. Does it really matter? Do you want to be super consistent? You can have all the pauses be 0 0.05 seconds, and then you'll be fine. If you have any questions, uh, comments, uh, if you need help setting it up, need to be pushed in the right direction, anything along those lines, you can leave a comment below. Try to help you if I can. Other than that, thank you for checking out the video.